Hey guys and welcome back to Maverick Productions. It's been a while, but we're back at Box Road. I'm here with Spirit on Nicholas. Be sure to check out his channel. Link in the description. He's also repping Maverick Productions merch. Be sure to get your hands on some. They're quality. Even Spirit said on the way here, they're very comfortable. And so what we're doing today is a striker masterclass. Basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to finish the ball better, where to put the ball in the back of the net when the keeper comes out, what to do in terms of pressuring the keeper and penalties and all that. So yeah. So here's the example of when the keeper comes out. As you can see, my foot, the way I kicked it, it's on the side of my foot because if you put it under, you're going to obviously cause the ball to sky. And if you blast it, you might blast it at the keeper. So obviously side footing always works in terms of finishing the ball. Being that perfect number nine, you've got to know that taking penalties is a big part of your game. As you can see, I took about five steps, which is an appropriate number of steps. I looked where I was going to put it. I didn't change my mind, and I slotted it into the bottom right corner. Now, obviously, sometimes you can change your mind, but in that scenario, looking at the bottom right was a good place to put it. A quintessential part of being a striker is being, being able to use both your feet. So in this situation, I used my right foot and slotted it into the back of the net. Yes, the finish wasn't the best, but at least you're getting practice with your weaker foot. So this next scenario is two-touch shooting outside of the box. As you can see, my right foot is right next to the ball and my left foot is out of frame. When I swing it, I look down and I look up before I take the shot and I aim to see where I want to put it in and most of the time you want to aim at the bottom corner to have a higher percentage shot. Once again it's key to have a really good opposite foot so they can score goals like this one. Controlling the ball from up high be sure to look at the ball when you touch it and then once you get the touch on Move the ball forward and take your strike. Yeah. Be ready for the unexpected. You never know when that keeper's not paying attention. You can just slot it past him, even with your weak foot. Yeah. Receiving the ball and you got to hit it first time, make sure you hit it in the middle of your foot and bang. 